Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Albania or Iberia campaign in Europe Universalis 4. So Alentejo is uh, looking to rebel here. Need to take care of that. Um, our navy should probably come down here and pick up some more of these guys. I think that they could be useful. Here, just drop those off there for now. Go pick up that army. This guy can go here. Going for my level 6 fort in Bessarabia. We just have level 4 here. Did I never upgrade these? Apparently not. We're fully, nearly fully reinforced. I think we just need to, again, throw our huge army. So I've always left the coalition. That's a good sign. We're working on various forts uh, here in the mountains. We could try to take Gores to force his navy out and get some war score from that, but I need to get onto Temesh. I need the I need the war goal. Teruel. It's nine development. You know what? You can have your lo you have your local autonomy. I don't care. Not to mention we have uh, economic ideas, so we'll lose autonomy anyway. Comes down by 0.1 per month, despite being at, at war. It's a very minor issue. Okay, I think we throw a lot of troops at this uh, horribly balanced Austrian army. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. If we go here, we'll get caught up in that zone of control. So we've got to just throw like 80k troops here. And then we move and we engage Austria. While we do that, we're going to want to have other troops that are only one province away, ready to reinforce. Morocco's left the coalition. Uh, I think Baden's going to get knocked out of the war next month. Maybe sooner. Lost that siege again. We arrive on the 27th. We will shift consolidate. Our diplomats are ready to peace people out. Baden's out. How many troops is Baden contributing? Five of the 90,000 infantry, zero of the cav, zero of that. So it's only 5,000 infantry, but he's gone. Which is going to start to affect relative strength of the alliance. And should hopefully... This, this army was horribly balanced. We want to keep on fighting these 25 stacks if we can. This might knock out Trier and the Papal State. Possibly. Let's see if we can engage that before it can get away. Apparently somebody's looking to reinforce here. It might be him. You'll be gone on the 19th. I can get there on the 22nd. So I think what we want to do is uh, pull this army back so we can reinforce. We did catch that army out. Um, no one else wants out of the war yet. I need to get the war goal. Because he's got 10, 11 war score from that. Not fast enough to avoid attrition. So it's just one month to get the war goal. We've got all these mountains and stuff. That's good. Stop worrying about Spain quite as much. 20k troops is plenty. I don't even know what's going on over there. It's fine. Russia's been doing a good job sieging stuff down. We're suffering call for peace, which is painful, but I'm not I'm not going to give up on this war, not until we have them beaten. We need to move on their capital. Relative strength of the alliance is still quite a bit in our favor, um, but if I can knock a few more people out, then we're going to be able to 
Carpet Siege, and it'll only take a couple months. At least that's the plan. Part of the problem is that I'm actually out of manpower now. But so is he. Austria's got 44k troops now. They're falling, falling apart. That's the entirety of his army right there. Don't get me wrong, it's impressive. If I could just get occupied of his siege provinces on some of these guys. Like I could maybe I could get in there and knock knock them out a little bit quicker. Alright, so we got the war goal. And a 40 stack. I didn't think so. Which immediately puts us at 17 war score. Trier's out. How much is Trier contributing? 6,000 infantry, 1 cav. 5,000, 10% of the cat of the artillery. Cool. Let's get you out. You should all be scared. Relative strength of the alliance is gonna get ya. Wow. I've never seen an event like this gain three mercantilism. That's amazing. I'll definitely do that. Mercantilism is coming up. 32% now. It's pretty good. So here we are, uh, Mexican standoff. <laughs> I've got 120,000 next to his 73, and uh, he's suffering attrition and I'm not. So I'd say every month that goes by, despite the call for peace, I'm coming out ahead in this deal, aren't I? Now he's got 90k, suffering even more attrition. If I can get above 25 war score, I will end the war with the Ottomans. The way we're going to do that is probably knocking out, like, Brandenburg. Who, who's the primary person at this point? Lithuania actually has nearly as many troops as uh, Austria does. Lithuania is at 7 enthusiasm. And he's moving to engage here. Fine. Let's do it. You want to do this? Let's do this. I've got 120. 100, 140, actually. No, 120. Let's fight. Why not? Nice 8 versus my 0. You suck. Of course you can eat. It's so hard to keep that fort with this damn thing right there. Sorry to keep the war goal. Cannons on cannons at this point. Jeez. That was painful. But that's probably gonna knock a couple other people out of the war in the next month or two. There's more where that came from, Austria. Just so you know. Brandenburg's out. Now we're sitting on the capital. We've won another fort. Apparently he retreated to here. Or, who is this? This is, uh... Yeah, he retreated here. I have no leader, though. Did we get there in time? One, two... Yeah, we can make it in time. Well, that is not the ideal way to win a war. But, we're gonna win the war. 55,000 manpower in debt.
force their navy out. Shouldn't really have anywhere to retreat to. We're sitting on their capital now. All right, so we're at 30 war score. I don't believe that means that the uh, he can't call anyone else in. Even defensively. Let's get a little bit more of a cushion before we do that. Lithuania still still is somebody we need to be concerned with. Lithuania's got a 42 stack over there. I'd love to piece him out. Perm gets... Okay, so this is on my side now. I mean, sure, we'll just have these 20 stacks work on forts. That's going to cause more damage to him, I think, than the direct fight most of the time. 27 war score. Frankfurt's almost out. Frankfurt, just peace out, dude. You don't have to fight. You don't have to do this. It's not your fight. You just have to let me beat up on Austria. Alright, so 30 war score. I think we gotta peace out us, the Ottomans now. The call for peace is getting to be too much. I need this and this, and anything else we can take that has no claims. No, no dip cost, I mean. Uh, it's good enough, but I don't really want that one. Yeah, I guess I do. a lot of war exhaustion. Do we want to buy it down a little bit? Yeah, we're ahead of time. Let's just buy it down, and then we'll core. That puts us at 73% overextension. Hopefully after this fight, Lithuania is going to want out. They're reinforcing pretty hard right now. There goes the Austrian Navy yet again. We've got Wallachian Separatists. I think we have to retreat from this fight. Come on, Trebizond, you suck. You're like the only other Orthodox country in the world. Don't you understand I'm only here for the bonuses? Like, I'm only taking that for the bonuses. You need to stop being Orthodox. Okay, January. I think we can peace out Lithuania. There goes Lithuania. Meanwhile, France ate Brittany. Like, this war. This war, man. It has not been an easy war. You could even say it was quite costly. We have negative 94,000 manpower. But we have 37 war score, now 38. His enthusiasm is obviously very low. We want you to return cores to Hungary. So, anything that Hungary has a core on. And then give me Graz. Mm. Do we push harder? I mean, I think we need to make it a 100% war score victory. Yeah. At this point, we're, we're so committed. 
If it's not at 100%, then what was the point? I mean, we're down to just Austria. We've got a ticking war score, we've got them down to, like, no troops at all. And we're working on lots of forts. This army. <laughs> so you're saying you're having a hard time filling the front line? Thirteen. How the hell? Did, oh, this is this was a two stack, and then part of them just got completely destroyed. Same with this one. Kill it. Stack wipe it. Nice, there goes a bunch of artillery. Okay, one more fight here. That's 50 war score. That gives me my province here. If I just take their capital, I, I should just, do, just just take their damn capital. Um, I can get 101 if I take that. Let's go for that. Once we get a couple more occupations, it should be less than 100. Come on. I'm occupying your capital. I'm gonna take it. Just give it up, man. You have unrest at 90%. Ugh. It's expensive, man. Series. We get a theologian. And then we'll probably buy this down next month. Let's just do it now. It's a little bit wasteful, but I don't want to miss I don't I would prefer to avoid these rebellions. Lisboa. Okay, and then we get them down to 80%. It's going to take a little bit more. I should transfer some of these forts over to Hungary or something. Apparently I took out a loan at one point. God damn, dude. How dare you breach the wall? If I take their capital, that'll do it. Let's actually go speed four for a bit. Like, I've been playing for so long now, I've been playing for like five hours straight. This has been a very long session. And, uh, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry, like, my, my, my arms are feeling weak. <laughs> I think it's because I need food. Need food. Good food. But I want to end this war, you know? 108k manpower in debt. That's that's impressive.
But what's the purpose of having manpower if you can't spend it, right? Well, good on you. You've caught my horribly balanced army, just like yours. That's pretty bad. We actually lost the war goal. Because of that fort falling. You know what? Screw you, dude. I'm going to take your capital, I'm going to get the war goal back, and you're going to give me 100%. That's all there is to it, alright? Stupid forts are preventing me from stack wiping him. Stack, stack wiping him. We've got a pretty good chance here. 28% chance of actually taking his capital, which will be probably the worst thing that could happen to him. Alright, so we got our ticking war score again. Croatian separatists have now fired. We've breached the walls here. You know what? I just, I need to end this. This has to end now. Speed five. Go. Just get the siege. I didn't care about that occupation. Just get the damn siege. Get his capital. Get his capital. Thank you. We have another fort. We have a leader there. Still don't have this damn fort. Get his capital. Come on! Now we have call for peace in this war. Get the capital. Thank you. Okay, so it was going to be... Yes, I'm going to take your capital. This is all going to go to Hungary, and I can just return to war with it. Um, let's do all that. Sure. Sounds good. And we want to return core to Hungary. But we want to do it this way. Okay. And we take Graz and Wien, and we immediately take this decision as soon as we can. Western focus. We need to core it, get the separatism, so it's going to be like 30 years, but we're going to become Western now. Oh man, okay, so you guys can stay there, you guys can all come down to here. And now we have a period of recovery where we get 134,000 manpower back. So, cool. Thanks for watching everyone, I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. <laughs> See you soon.